Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I ditched that fancy software that was being kind of like a fake green screen because uh, it really wasn't... I wasn't satisfied with the way it kept cutting in and out. Apparently it was a bandwidth hog as well. I don't care really about any of this because I'm going to be getting salmon berries all day long. So I'm going to get some yellow. Let's see what it says. They're selling fertilizers now. Pierre wants me to buy stuff from him. I must first say hi to... Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not at full health or full stamina because I went to bed at the very last minute last night because I was out gathering salmon berries. So something else I'm going to be doing today is gathering salmon berries. Hopefully I have enough energy to water my plants. I don't have enough water. I got the sound turned down way down because I was having trouble hearing myself over it. I've turned it up on my speakers physically. Hopefully that won't make the sound of the game drown me out, the sound of my talking. I don't want to have to shout while I'm doing this. I might have to eat some leeks or something because I'm running fairly out of it, out of energy, fairly fast. I like how my cat just collapses frequently. I might have enough energy. It's going to be tight. I'm also going to look for my sword because I don't know what I did with it. Yeah, I like. Even though I don't like having my uh, webcam take up that much space, I, I minimized it as much as I could. Um, the effect of me, just my head being kind of fake green screened out was uh, really distracting, I thought. Okay, I don't need to... I don't need to any, eat anything I successfully... Okay. I successfully watered all my plants, so I'm going to have my sword highlighted. Your, your sword does not use any energy when you when you swing it, so if I accidentally activate something, I won't be losing energy because I've got very very little energy right now. But for salmon berries, they really don't need a lot of energy. Uh, the game doesn't penalize you by making you run slower or anything like that, so. Well, all of these things. There's a tree I chopped down earlier. It's about to regrow. See, I hate doing this because it's so boring. But I kind of need to do it uh, because I need food in the mines. Going down in the mines without food is gets really, really old really, really fast. You, you, you need to progress five levels really to make any kind of progress because that's what saves every fifth level saves it and you can take the elevator down. Um, I don't have a magnetic ring so I don't pick things up automatically that easily. Um, if you get low on health or exhausted, then you're just just not going to really get that far in the mind. So while this is tedious, one of the more tedious tasks, in my opinion, in the game, it's something you really need to do. I'll probably also, unless I get really focused on making money, I'll probably do the same thing when blackberries are in season in the fall.
I know I missed a bunch up there. I'm going to have to loop back. These give more energies than the spring onions do, which is good because spring onions these just really tedious to eat those in the middle of a battle. Salmon berries, you can actually see your health go up a fairly decent amount. And I am going to be spending a lot of time in the mines now that I got these guys. I know I'm on the fishing map, but really what I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing is, um, what is my fishing skill? I need to know how to make, well, I do know how to make crab pots, so that's good. I need to get my fishing skill up to five so I can make them cheaper and just throw them all over my farm. The Riverlands farm is good for uh, crab pots. You can make sashimi with them once you get high enough level with Linus. And um, he gives you, he mails you the recipe. And sashimi sells for 75 cent, uh, 75 gold pieces, which is, it might not seem like a lot, but if you've got dozens of traps and the perk that gives you no garbage, so you only get fish, then it becomes a significant amount of money if you're, if you're making money that way. Eventually, I want to make all my money pretty much by um, growing ancient fruit, is it? I believe, yeah, ancient fruit in the greenhouse. That's assuming I'm fortunate enough to find some seeds. Okay, no more over here. Um, And also, we're turning those into wine, the ancient fruit into ancient wine. And also, well, with my crab pots. I'm not really looking to become super, super rich. That's I know some people play that way, and more power to them. We all have things we find fun in the game. Me, I just, I don't know. I like running around and fighting, exploring the mines. In this game, I hope one of my goals is to see all the cutscenes with all the characters because I tend to skip over those. I got an hour. I can go up and buy stuff from Pierre. Let's see. I'll definitely be able to do. Oh. I mean, the cutscene now where Morris comes in and throws shade at Pierre. Here's Morris. He's dressed in evil, in black, so you know he's evil. I'm going to drink some iced tea if you don't mind. I do think he's kind of a snappy dresser with that bow tie of his. He's got a nice smile. Yeah, he's giving coupons for his store that is in competition with this guy's store in this guy's store. So I kind of, I kind of admire his balls. For for the customers, that you hear four doors slamming. Thump, 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 thump. Let's throw some salt in the wound there. Morris really believes in his town, in his products. I wish it was more fleshed out. I wish you could be friends with him. I wish you could talk to him. Uh, let me go somewhere over here. Yeah, it pays the bills. I'm going to use my mouse to buy these. If you right click and hold down, you just buy as many as you can. So. I'm not really going to worry about planting those while salmon berries are in season, but it's nice to have them. A lot of people don't like the character of Morris. I don't think he's that bad. He's just... He's trying to do for his store what Pierre's trying to do for his, which is drum up business. It's a big box store, and so it's supposed to be evil. It's 
obviously Walmart. I don't know. When I complete, if you complete the community service bundle, the Jojo Mart goes out of business. And uh, Pierre actually beats up Morris. I, I had that happen once. I, com I completed the community center one time. And Morris uh, was, got hit um, an uppercut. I sent him flying literally out of the screen. Pierre doesn't look like he would be able to deliver a blow like that, but he somehow did. And then you never see him again. The Jojo Mart closes. The people who work there lose their jobs, presumably. Pierre's is open one extra day because he's closed on Wednesdays until such time as you complete the community center bundles. But if you complete the Jojo Mart, which is what I'm going to be doing in this game, then uh, Pierre's does stay open. He doesn't go out of business. And the Jojo Mart's still there. Um, the community center turns into a warehouse and it's kind of sterile looking. But if you look at it right now, it's not that great looking. The mayor has fond memories of the place, but he didn't really seem to give a damn about it when he had a chance. So, I mean, the townspeople didn't, like, take up a collection to try to revitalize it or anything. It's all up to the character. Lots of berries up here today. I'm at over a hundred, so that's nice. I can never have too many of these damn things. I think I'm gonna give give an onion to Linus. Yeah, anytime, buddy. I'm using the trigger keys to cycle through the items there. It's 8 p.m. There's a dig spot here. Oh, I got copper ore. Nice. I can see some more berries down there, so we'll go back down there again. You can see this is very tedious. I'm basically making a big loop. And I guess I'll be planting some potatoes. I'll have to... Um, eat something to regain stamina, but I have plenty of leeks and salmon berries. I'll probably eat the leeks because the salmon berries I like to save for the mines where I actually truly, you know, the best food you can take down there is the food you should have with you. Did I get it? This is available, I think, for four days. If so, I might, at this rate, I might be able to there's a good chance I might be able to um, get over 200 of these things. We'll see. I think the number of berries you can get depends on your luck. See how little my health is going up? I ate like eight of these and it just gave me really a tiny amount. So I know I don't have any fertilizer left. Don't have to worry about that. I'm pretty sure I don't have any anyways. I'm not really going to worry about it. Getting these things into the ground is more important to me. I have to be in bed by 11 or 12 o'clock, so I'm not keeping an eye on that.
and I don't think I'm going to do any more on these guys. I could probably do one more row. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. Always pushing. I'm going to need more water. Oops. Yeah, it's 11.30. I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to go to bed. Well, what time is it in real life? Uh, five o'clock. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording, make sure everything's okay. I think the, the last video turned out okay, except for that amazing fake green screen effect that I had going. Um, it was pretty flaky. I didn't really like it. But it did leave a watermark on my video. I couldn't see it while I was playing the game, but I, it did show up in my recording. And I assume it had anybody watching the stream, it would have occurred there too. So I'm going to go see how this looks. And that's basically all I've got for right now. Um, I'm going to stop streaming and see you all next time. Bye.